and I'm going to be speaking with you, speaking to you before we start worship. We've not started. <laughs> what we did was just to prepare the ground. <laughs> and the first thing I want to tell you tonight, if you are here for two hours, please take your leave. <laughs> because it takes time to host God. Yes. Yes. Never forget that. It takes time. Hebrews 11 6. For it is it's impossible to please God. For those who come to God must know that He is and is a rewarder of those who give it. Amplifies them earnestly and diligently seeking. Jeremiah 29 13. If you search him with the own of your heart, that is when you will find him. Not some 10 minutes. Oh Lord, I just want to give you praise. You know, God is raising a new generation. Yes. Listen, it's so clear. Psalms 24 said, This is Jacob. It's not just a name. This is Jacob. Then the next thing that he says, makes you realize what the meaning of Jacob is in, in that context. This is the generation. Mm. So Jacob is not just a person. He's a sister. Mm. This is Jacob. The generation of those who we seek is his, not his hands. We come to church because we want something. Mm. Come to, I know you have expectations for tonight. And I know God will always meet your expectations. Amen. But if that's the reason now, so can you see what's happening? I didn't make a prayer. He just said amen. But if that's the reason why you came, you won't do much with God. Mm. You can't do business with God like that. Give me, give me, give me. My worship is to collect something. Mm. No. It takes time. Sometimes you are in the place of worship and the first one hour you are distracted. Mm. Uh, that's the time that it takes. You stay there. It takes time to host the dimensions of God. See anybody doing well with God, changing his nation or changing a generation? They spent a commodity called time. Mm. And we are in a cosmopolitan environment where the devil has created a system to steal your time. It's intentional. It's intentional. That's what he wants. He wants to take your time. Because he knows that if you don't have time to seek God, you can't do much. Mm. So you come for service, one hour, 30 minutes is too much. Mm. You're already thinking, I gotta pay some bills. It's a design. Not just sex of five minutes. Intercourse is not sex alone. Intercourse is getting to know each other. Those who know. Mm. It takes time to know your spouse. Some of you are in the you are in your marriage, you are still knowing your spouse after 15 years. It takes time. If you don't have, if you don't want to spend time, forget it. You can't get much with God. And then when you come 
come to an atmosphere like this, sing my favorite song, let me leave this way. <laughs> you don't understand what is called the song of the Lord. Worship is not about the song you want to sing. It's about the one he wants to hear. And I'm, I'm intentional talking about those things so that I can so that we can be light when we start to worship. Because until you are light, he can't carry you. So we are that generation. Just wonder. Get out of Now, tonight, Canada tonight is very special. In fact, these two days are very special. Number one, this is the first time we are going to be having opera room in the, in the place of two, tonight. And I'm going to be sharing with you, please, I need you, I need your spiritual ear to be open. Because I'm going to be sharing very deep mysteries of worship and the journey of intimacy. Because until you know. See, God wants you to himself more than he, more than he wants to use you. The Bible says Jesus called the twelve disciples to himself first. Then that he might send them out first to himself. You want to be used of God, you don't want to know him. That I may know him. Why is worship so important? Listen to me. You cannot separate God and worship. Worship is as ageless as God is. The fabric of God is worship. That's why he took time to make a being called Lucifer. Because he wanted something. He wanted worship. He made him a complete music. Complete. He didn't learn it. He was made as music. God will never do anything on earth without a sound. I'll show you scriptures. Psalm 68, give it to me. Verse 24. Music is not worship. Music conveys worship. Ah. I said music is not worship. Music conveys worship. Yeah. Give me Psalm 68. When God is coming, verse 24, please. If not, let me read. When God is coming, how you know God is coming is through a sound. That's how he, that's how he speaks. Okay, let me get it. Enjoy the Lord just telling me a scripture. The name of the chapter, the name of the book, the chapter, and the verse. I've seen it happen many times. And exactly what the Lord is saying, I've seen. I've seen it many times. Please, don't make this thing a drop. Thing. It's just one of the ways God talks. So it's not a doctrine. God must not speak to you like that. I'm just creating a balance. White, white is not a doctrine. I just love the color. Hello? I need to say that because I know. See, ah, what's the waste white thing? Man. Mark, Mark 11, 9, verse 9. Do we have the scriptures now or should I use? Mark 11, verse, verse 9. Please follow me. I've not even started the, the teaching yet. Mark 11, 9. I'm just, I, I just want your spirit to open up. So that when we start to worship, 
Okay, I have to get in my side. Mark 11. Then, then those who went before and those who followed cried out, saying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Verse 10. Please, if you don't have a just I need you to see what the Lord wants to show us here. Verse 10. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David with them. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David. I thought it was King David and it was Father Abraham. But Jesus is about to enter, was about to enter Jerusalem triumphantly. The order had to change. Kingdom here does not mean a throne. It means king. It towards king and domain. The way a king, a king operates in his domain is the kingdom here means system of our father David. What's the system of David? Jesus wanted to come in. The order had to change. So let, let Judah go first. Blessed is the kingdom. When God is coming, sounds are released before. God is about to come. God is about to enter Canada like never before. Amen. And the Davids are rising up, releasing a sound. That's what the Lord wants to do. So it's not just a meeting, no. That's why it's not the concept. Here yeah, you face your God. We are here to do business with God. So the distraction of phones, you know, where in the generation. Why you want to capture God? <laughs> you capture God and miss your moment. Oh, for me. <laughs> I reject it. In deep worship, you see people holding for like <laughs> Deep worship. So you can be like a Jacob. God is here and I did not know. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, for me. I think the Lord wants me to talk about it. That those who worship must worship God in, in spirit. Because God is spirit. It's not a man. He became a man. But it's not a man. So my words cannot suffice. I speak good English. Forget it. You are standing before the world. What do you want to say? There's a level your reasoning cannot get past. There's a level. A time is coming. Now it is. When true worship, and we worship God is for God is Allah. God is spirit. God is spirit. Essentially, it means they don't speak English in heaven. God is spirit. My words convey what my spirit is saying, not the other way around. I said my words convey what my spirit is saying. That's why you hear a line. It's just, you know, it's just taking you deeper in worship. Because what the person wrote is not all he saw. He just summarized his encounter. Gave you a line. You keep singing and you realize that there's something about this song. No. It was his spirit that traveled. Not his words. I have to go past my reasoning. Reasoning. You will speak in tongues. You know the Bible says, "Evil speak, speak mystery, spread to God, because God is spirit." The spirit and those if you remember, spirit. if you forget anything tonight, don't forget this: God is spirit. So, what's the balance? I use my words to convey what my spirit is saying. So I must also release my spirit in the place of worship. Then my words, my reasoning will catch up. We'll catch up later. 
And if I don't have too much words to say, don't worry, your spirit has said a lot. Because he's father to child. Spirit. So you know, I, I, we can be in this kind of atmosphere and only if you see God. Because only if you engage their spirit to go where words cannot go. God is spirit. That's the language of God. And those who must watch it must watch it in spirit and in truth. Truth is the vocabulary of God. It must come as truth. Whatever your words convey at that time, it must be So sometimes I can be I can be in the place of worship. And the only thing I'm saying is let Baradiados. Sometimes I come back to my reason. Yes, I love you, Lord. But it's more than that. My spirit is already conveying deep things. God is spirit. And it's your decision to see God tonight. If you allow phone to distract you, if you allow your neighbor to distract you, it's your decision. <laughs> To see Jesus tonight. I promise you Jesus is in this room. Amen. But it's your decision. Because we all can come in. And few get to the other. I said many come for service. Few get to the other. Because the altar is a place. Of one on one. Oh. I love my brother. No he doesn't. He doesn't pass. No he doesn't come. Your brother will have to find his own. Spot. Oh, we came together. In fact, we are twins. <laughs> oh, we are wearing the same. Forget it. It's a personal decision to see the Lord tonight. It's a personal decision to see the Lord tonight. I can come for service and I won't see Jesus. It's my choice. And it's not about the song. It's about the posture of your heart. Now, a time is coming. Now is. I said a time is coming, Canada. Amen. A time is coming, Toronto. Amen. You can wait for the next. Can, okay, we wait another year. Probably another, probably on Sunday. Now, now is now is now is. I won't allow. I won't allow my phone distract me. I won't allow my neighbor distract me. Now, I, I won't even allow what I'm wearing to distract me. Now is the time that true worshippers we worship God in spirit and in truth. For the Father comes to save is looking out for such. I said the father comes to a meeting of this and is looking up for such. The father is sitting. Where will I dwell tonight? In whom will I dwell tonight? Where will I stay tonight? I need a home. I need a place. I need a altar. For the father is sitting.